Welcome to Python Science, my name is Furkan. Today we are going to learn regular expression for number extractions from strings. Regular expression is a very useful library for extracting data using patterns. Using regular expression, we have to import a library or module called re from the default dictionary. You don't need to install anything. It's on the core distribution of Python. I have put the documentation link here. You should examine that documentation for regular expression, special characters, also functions. I'm just going to give you some instructions on number extraction from strings. Also, I have put one link that I use frequently. It's a useful link for testing your regular expression patterns. Just go there and check the page. First, we are defining some string variables and assigning them some string with some numbers like here or here. We are assigning these numbers and we are going to extract these numbers from those strings. We are going to extract transaction ID from these strings. I will show one special function here. For that reason, I just put example string 1-1. So first method is the search method. Search method search the string for a given pattern and find the first object that fits to that pattern. What is a pattern? Pattern is a regular expression basic. You have to use, let's go to the regex 101. Let me just zoom in and you can see it. We are using some expressions for the patterns to detect numbers, characters that are specific for our regular expression pattern. So for that reason, you should learn these patterns, but for the number extraction, it's all in my tutorial. You can download this file from my GitHub profile. I'm just going to share the GitHub profile link on my video's description. So here we have the search pattern. What are we searching? We are saying that capital A to Z, like alphabetic character, one single alphabetic character at the beginning of my pattern, and it will be just one. I'm just giving here. It's a single character because in our transaction ID, there is a single character. I assume all of the transaction IDs are having the same pattern. After that part, we are having some number. I just assume that it should be five to six characters. Like it can be here, uh, five characters, but it can be also like something like putting a zero here. Let's do it like that. So for transaction ID, we have this pattern and I'm just going to give my string, the first string to find the pattern inside the string. We are using regular expression search function. It will return an object, not the position or the match value. It is going to give us an object. If it cannot find that pattern inside our string, it will return none. I just put four A's, so we will see none for this one. Another method is the match method. Match method takes the pattern that are given here and matches it start of a line. It won't search inside our string. If I give this string to match, it won't match with this pattern. But if I give this string to match, it will just match it because it starts matching from the beginning of the line. If you have multiple lines starting with transaction IDs like here, you can just use match to find the lines that are having this transaction IDs. So I'm also giving some example to see the non value. What are we going to do if we want to have all of matching values inside our string. We have to extract them all. So we are using find all method. It will find all the values that are matching with our pattern inside the given string and put them in a list in Python way. So I'm returning this one here. Also, if there is no match, it will be an empty list. We are going to see that also. Let's run it and see this part. So we have these two strings. So first one, giving an object, match object, this one. It found this string inside our example string one with the position of 13 to 19. And the other one, the AAA, it's not there. It returns none. It's okay for us. So match method is also doing the same thing. But if I give this string, it will return none. Let's try with that and run it again. So here, both of the values are none because it starts from the beginning of the string, not in the middle. 
it won't take this value because it starts looking from the beginning of the string. So the main difference between search and the match is this. So I'm just going to clean up my results, then run it again. So this way we can go over these values. Find all method. Find all will go into the string and match the pattern and returns all of the matches in a list. So there is a list. There is only one value inside our first string. So it will return that. If I put some other string, let's say it, let's copy this and paste it here with like not E, F, something like this. If I run this code, it will extract both of these numbers and put them inside a list. So if I need to do this. Also, remember that Python has 79 characters limit. If you're coding, you have to code clean. So just break your strings like I do here. If you reach this line, this, is, uh, this line is set to the 79 characters. It's a parameter. You can find it on my channel, how to set that in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so in find all method, we have this pattern to match the transaction IDs. It returns all the transaction IDs in a list. And if I put something gibberish here, it won't find anything and it will return empty list, not none for the find all method. So you have to count the list if you consider to like do some operations. If there are some values inside the string, you have to count the list list elements. So let's go to the second one. We are going to extract a shopping list from the third string. What is the shopping list here? You should buy one banana, two apple, and five papayas. What are we doing here? We are saying that I have only one digit. Also, I can do something like this to indicate that one or more digits, unlimited. And I have a white space like this between the value and the name of the shopping item. Also, I have a word with 1 to 30 characters. It won't take the spaces between the words because it will only take the word character. Let's go here and check what is lowercase w any word character. If I use uppercase, it will, it will consider that as a non-word character. It can be digit or it can be a space, something like that. Exclamation mark and it besides the word characters. Okay, here we are running our code again. What we have, I have the shopping list, one banana, two apples and five papayas in a list with three items. So let's extract the date from the string. I have this in my fourth string. There is a date. My birthday is 11th of July. 900 1900 so here we are extracting the date how are we doing this it will start with one or two digits then after these digits i will have single dot or something like this or something like this maybe dashes it depends on your string so after that i will have the mount one or two characters then a dot and a year part it will be exactly four digits. So when I run this, it will give me the date string value inside a list. So for the integer and float numbers, we can find them in a string and we can convert them. How are we going to do that? We will find the digits for integer part. We are going to assign something slash D. So we will take the digits from the string, then put them in a list. For that list, we will have some one-liner here. Each item in the list, we will convert the item to an integer and print those values. Also in float, we have dot between the numbers. I have put it unlimited digits at the whole part and it, at the fraction part, I have also put unlimited digits. Also, I use one liner here too. So when I run that, it will give me, first one will give me 341 as it was in the string. And the second one will give me 21.9. First one's type is integer. Second one is float. I just take the type from Python. So that's all 
for number expression on regular expressions in Python. I will have a detailed regular expression part in my intermediate tutorials. If you are considering to go further on Python, make sure you subscribe my channel. If you like this video, click on the like button. If you have any questions, just put them on the comment section. I will give the answer or we can discuss with other people. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next tutorial.